Hey friends, I am outside and today we're gonna look at the five different ways I grow things vertically in my small city garden. Okay. Vertical growing method number one, and for me, the one I use the most often, trellis netting. This driveway area was my very first vertical garden. I have very little space here and the entire garden only goes out two foot from the side of my house. This is my driveway, so um, my husband built these beds up in the air and he sank these four by four posts and i found these just on amazon they are string trellises they're five feet tall and they come in a pack that's 15 foot wide and i just cut them into pieces and i used a stapler and i stapled these to the wood and these have lasted me um, i think this is my fifth year going into them when they get really bad you can just cut this down and put up new um, trellising. This is a very cost effective method. It's very easy to do and I use it multiple different ways around the yard which I'll show you. But I think I paid, I probably paid five dollars for a set of netting that's pretty tough, five foot by 15 foot which is plenty to get you started for five bucks on Amazon. I've also seen them sold in the big box stores. So I have one here and one here. I've grown cucumbers, cherry tomatoes, peas, beans, all kinds of things up these. So I have two here. I've got one on the side of my house here. And hang on, let's go find the rest of them. I have them use them here in my front yard attached to my front porch. And they are again, just stapled to the wood on my front porch. I grow cucumbers up these. So over here on the side porch, and again, just stapled up. And these have actually held full heirloom tomato plants up um, and continue to go strong. So that's way number one the easiest most affordable way to grow up instead of out right behind me is way number two that i vertically garden in these green stalk planters you can find these green stalks um, are made in america they are made you can buy them directly from green stock you can also find versions of these that are smaller or a little bit different shaped at your local dollar store you can find them at your big box store these are the ones that i like in my opinion are the better ones um, but you can start with whatever your price point allows you to do okay these come in several different sizes on the green stock website i ordered two of the same they are the full size ones and they are six tiers high with five pockets a piece so that's 30 plants here and 30 plants here in this little tiny round square footage spot so they take up no room in my yard but I'm gonna grow 60 plants in here. Now I've got beets planted in here and I'm going to be planting peas in here. I have grown strawberries in them, lettuces, herbs. People have grown cherry tomatoes in them. This is a really, really good way to grow up if you don't have a lot of square footage in your yard. Okay, number three, the third way that I grow vertically in my yard is by using branches, sticks, wood, whatever I can find to make teepees. So this guy right here, these are four big branches. Whoops, my left and my right are backwards when I make a video, it really confuses me. <laughs> um, one, two, three, four, and I just brought them together at the top and I've got them tied. I've just used some jute wire. You can use any kind of twine that you have. The jute does break down over time, but usually never in one season for me. And I have the bottoms just into these different pots. So if you don't have a place where you've got a whole bunch of soil, like a cement, sidewalk, porch, driveway. You could put pots out, and put in sticks, boards, whatever you've got, make yourself a teepee and grow vertically up those. I always have pea and bean teepees going every year in my garden. Not only are they very uh, space saving, they're super pretty. Okay, we're back in the territory of the ladies. <laughs> they're all in there, Mason emptied his a rabbit litter box. It's got a bunch of Timothy hay and stuff in there. They're all checking it out. But here is way number four that I grow vertically. These are cattle panels. I bought them from I think our local tractor supply and I cut them to fit. But back here, actually I'm gonna turn around. This will be easier if I show you how to turn around. Okay, back here, this is just my fence line, okay? There's nothing. We had all this old fencing, just wooden fencing that my husband was going to burn because you'll learn his favorite thing is to burn things. And instead I convinced him to put it up here and I put soil in between our actual fence in here. Now I know this is eventually gonna rot out and be replaced, but we are on year four of this. I had him put this cattle panel 
attached to the back fence to bring the height way up above what my fence height could be. And I have grown watermelon on here. I have grown winter squash on here. I'm currently growing ivy that needs to be cleaned out. But once that's cleaned out, I'll plant peas back here, beans back here. Um, squash does really, really good. And all I am doing is taking up six, maybe seven or eight inches off my property line and going straight down and straight up, totally vertical. I also have a second cattle panel over here. It is not really quite set up yet. It's just resting down here, but this will get put up a little bit higher and I will do a row of tomatoes on here. I'm hoping to maybe get one more this year, but for now, two seems to be okay. Okay, my fifth way to grow vertical, we're just gonna label it all together as opportunities, found things, anything you can think of to reuse that goes up. So back behind me, I've got an old ladder. This went to the crawl space of my grandpa's garage um, and I salvaged it. I've got a bucket underneath it and I'm gonna grow hyacinth beans up that. Let me show you a couple other things where I'm gonna call found opportunities. Resalvaged baker rack. This used to be in my house and all the wood shelves and everything on it warped and went bad. And instead of throwing it out, I just took all those parts off and now it is a vertical gardening tool outside. Old ladders, I love old ladders. You're gonna see I probably got maybe five or six of them in my yard. I just find them a cute place to lean. These ones I put little baby succulents in pots. <laughs> Look how good they're doing. And uh, stick them on there and see what happens. Well, this one a found opportunity I have this beautiful fence here <laughs> she's looking a little rough we uh we just finished scraping her down to get her fresh coat of paint but in the summertime I have I'm gonna say that's four inches of soil right there and I plant flowers here including sunflowers that get really tall and squashes and maybe beans this year and they climb right up here winding in and out of the slats or the sunflowers will grow up and I will tie them to a slat if it needs a little bit of um, help. So I can get an entire row of something grown here in four inches wide of dirt. And my favorite found material to grow vertical is this old porch railing. This was on my Boucha's front porch. And a year before she died, my husband redid the porch for her and this was left over. And I refused to let him throw it away. And I made him hold on to it for a year and he thought it was crazy. And now it is set up in my side yard with her rose bush on it and it's beautiful. And I love it. Okay friends, those are the five ways that I grow things vertically to create so much grow space in my little city yard. I hope that some of those give you ideas or some inspiration and I will see you again tomorrow.